most dangerous situation you ever found yourself in? Um, I was in, I should be dead right now. I was in Saipan and Brady Boone was there. And we went into this bar and when we went into this bar, we sat down and a couple of girls came up to the table. We didn't know who they were. Um, and uh, they were just being nice. Brought us a couple of drinks. And uh, people were giving us strange looks because I think they didn't like the idea of, because it was all Saipanese. And there was a security guard, um, actually two security guards, one by each exit. There was a back exit and there was a front exit. And, um, and they had guns, you know, long rifles. And so I felt like I would be okay. Uh, you know, I felt pretty secure. We sat down and um, all of a sudden a girl reaches over and kisses Brady, <laughs> just grabbed him and kissed him. I was, I don't know what happened and a cigarette, but hits Brady and uh, he looks around. We didn't see anything. I don't know how I got there. And then that other girl grabbed me and kissed me and boom, more cigarette butts hit the table. Well, before too long, um, these guys jump up and they start yelling at us in Saipanese. I don't know what they're saying. And these two girls get up and uh, start yelling back in Saipanese. And uh, we had a, a car right outside the door. And all I was thinking about is, God, how are we going to get to the car? How are we going to get to the car? So I looked at when all these people popped up, like 12 people, uh, and there was probably 100 people in this small bar, uh, smoke-filled bar, and no windows, just the doors, and uh, the band playing. And I, uh, I, I guess these security guys saw the whole thing going on at the same time, but all of a sudden, boom, the bottles break from these guys and now they've got these jagged bottles and I look over at the security guy and he does like the old uh heel move where you you know you want to turn baby face you know you turn around and leave your partner well they turned around and gave us their back and walked the other way and pretend like they saw nothing and so all of a sudden these girls grabbed these bottles too and now they're in front of us and we're trying, we've got our back against the wall and we're wiggling, trying to get to the wall and bottles are going. Somebody got their wrist slice and uh, things are flying and we're getting hit with crap. And uh, by some kind of a miracle, we got outside the door and into that rental car and took off out of there and never came back. But I thought we were dying that day. It was that scary. Man, um, do you know, because you mentioned Brady Boone, there's a name that's never come up on any show I've ever done. And I remember seeing some of these old reruns. I was a bit too young to watch them at the time. But Brady Boone, man, he was a, he was a really talented dude. He was like a pre-Rob Van Dam, really athletic. Very athletic. Reminded me of um, uh, uh, maybe a miniature Rick Rude. Uh, not a miniature, but a smaller version of Rick Rude sometime. Uh, they were from the same place, Robbinsdale. <clears throat> um Minnesota, uh, uh, where Kurt Henning and many of the road warriors and many of the guys were from. Dean Peters was a, Brady Boone was a super guy. And uh, Dean Peters was his real name. And he worked for me at my Gold's Gyms for a few years and um, met his wife, Sherry, there and had children. And unfortunately, uh, he had a car accident and uh, drove off of a, uh, like a viaduct and, and died. And um, he died way too young. A great guy, great athlete, great worker. If he would have been four inches taller, you know, he would have gone a long way. 